Hey everyone, my name is Chrissy Lemaire. I am a PowerShell MVP and author of the DBA Tools module. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to regain sysadmin access on a SQL Server if you've lost it or if you've inherited a SQL Server and never had it in the first place. Now, this module does require Windows uh, administrative access. And so if you're not a Windows administrator, then this will not work and therefore it's not a hack. So the first thing that we're going to do is try to connect to a SQL Server. I'm going to use my Windows login. You can see it's 2012. I'm going to connect and there is a login failed for my user. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, server name and then use it as the password for new login. Paste that, connect. Also can't get in. So that's two different ways that I've tried. I've tried with Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. So now I'm going to use PowerShell uh, to regain that access. This is the DBA Tools repository on GitHub. Uh, it has a bunch of information, but this is the important one. This is how you can just run a quick installer. So you start, paste, it goes out, it gets the zip, it extracts it, and then it installs it for you. And it shows you all the things that are available. Now there are a lot of really awesome um, functions that are available within this module, but in this case, we are only going to look at reset SA, sorry, reset SQL admin. And in the past, it used to be called reset SQL SA password, but I think that a lot of people thought that this was only for SA, and using SA is no longer um, best practice. Uh, some people still do, but with the reset SQL admin module, um, you can grant access to SA, but you can also grant access to your Windows user and any type of uh, SQL login. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're going to reset SQL admin, and then we're going to specify the SQL server. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this because we're going to be copying it a bunch of times. I'm going to paste that. And now I'm going to specify my login which is base control B. That is my Windows user. My domain is base and my username is control B. Now what it's doing is it's going in, it's gonna resolve the IP address because it has to make a, a, a type of connection that requires that. It makes sure that it makes sure that my base slash control B account is valid. It does have to stop the SQL services and then it restarts it. Uh, in single user mode, and this program is the only program that's allowed in. Um, it makes a couple changes, and then it starts the um, it starts the service again, and then it reconnects. It adds it. It adds my user if it doesn't exist, which it didn't. It makes sure that it's enabled. So if you have some type of account, and the only problem that's wrong with it is that it's disabled, this is going to address that. Um, it also adds it to the sysadmin role and then it restarts the SQL Server. Now we're back in. So let's go ahead and try to log in with my Windows user. And boom, if you recall before, I was not able to get in. If we go and we look at the logins, double click on Control B, and here I am with this sysadmin access. And while we're here, we can also see that there is no user called new login, and we're gonna go ahead and change that. So, we will again run reset SQL SA ad, uh, sorry, <laughs> reset SQL admin on SQL Server 2012 uh, scale. And now um, we are going to use new login. Now with new login, there's no backslash in there. So it detects that it is a SQL login. Therefore, I will be prompted for a password. So I just pasted that in. And it's going to do the same things. It's going to stop the service, restart it in single user mode, uh, checks to make sure that it's unlocked. If you're using SQL authentication or a, a SQL login, it will ensure that mixed mode authentication is enabled on the server. That way you can get in. Um, it enables the account and then it adds it to the sysadmin role and starts it right back up. So let's go ahead and try to log in as that new user. So we have new login, I'm gonna paste that, and boom, we're in, and just to confirm, here is the new login with sysadmin access. 
So this is one of my favorite functions uh, within the DBA tools module. I've used it a couple times myself. You know, a lot of times we'll inherit a SQL server or sometimes when I'm working in a lab, I will accidentally drop all of the users as I'm testing a script and this allows me to get back in. So I hope that, uh, that you've enjoyed this. And uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up on Twitter. I am at CL.